Welcome back to another episode of Wild Kitchen presented by Moultrie Mobile. In this video, we're making reverse seared venison backstrap with a horseradish cream sauce. The process starts exactly how it sounds. We're gonna start off at a low temperature, then allow the steaks to rest, and then give them a quick sear on both sides. So first, we'll preheat our smoker to 250 degrees. Then we can head inside and place our venison backstrap on a cutting board. Then we'll take a knife and remove any silver skin or fat from our venison backstrap. This helps eliminate a gamey taste to our steaks. For this recipe, we're going to be keeping our seasoning simple and just using salt and black pepper. Then we'll pour about a tablespoon of olive oil over top of our venison steaks. We'll use our hands to rub the salt and pepper into the meat. Then we'll flip our steak over and repeat the exact same process of seasoning with salt and black pepper and rubbing it in using our hands and olive oil. During this process, you'll use about two teaspoons of salt and one teaspoon of pepper. Once our venison backstrap is seasoned, we can head outside to our smoker. Then we'll set the venison backstrap into the smoker onto the grill grate. We'll cook until the internal temperature reads 125 degrees. It'll take about 40 minutes to get to the temperature of 125 degrees. So while it's cooking, we'll head back inside and prepare our horseradish cream sauce. For that, we'll need to get out a medium sized bowl. Then we'll add in a half cup of sour cream. Then we'll add in two tablespoons of your favorite brand of mayonnaise, two tablespoons of prepared horseradish. Then we'll need one teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Next, we'll add in about a teaspoon of lemon juice. And then we'll add salt and black pepper to taste. Typically, I say about a half teaspoon of salt and a pinch of black pepper. We'll mix those ingredients until they're well combined and then set it in the refrigerator until we're ready to serve. Now we're ready to head back outside and check on our venison steaks. I'm using an internal thermometer to make sure the steak has reached 125 degrees. Since it has, I'm going to remove my venison steak from the grill and place it on a plate to rest. We'll let the steaks rest while we bring our temperature to full. Once the grill is preheated, you can spray your grill grates with cooking spray. This is an optional step, but it really adds a nice char to the steaks. Then you'll place your venison backstrap directly onto the grill gate and sear the steaks for about 45 seconds to one minute per side. The goal is to cook the steaks to a perfect medium rare temperature of 145 degrees. To ensure that you're not overcooking your steak, be sure to check the internal temperature frequently during the cooking process. Once the thickest portion of my steak reaches 145 degrees, I'm going to remove it from the grill and set it onto a cutting board to rest. I'll let it rest for about five minutes before I even start cutting. The reason it's important to let your steak rest before you slice is because it helps retain and redistribute juices that are otherwise lost when cutting too soon. So ultimately what that means is that by letting your steaks rest, you'll end up with a juicier cut of meat. So as you can see here, I've already sliced up my steaks and now I'm getting them ready to serve. So we'll get out our horseradish cream sauce from the refrigerator and serve it on the side of our steaks. For some extra color, I love to top with some fresh chopped parsley. For the full list of instructions for this recipe, head over to MultriMobile.com where you'll find a bunch of other delicious wild game recipes.